Hi, and welcome to Ray at the Movies, and I wanted to do my Kino Lauber movie collection. Uh, I saw how well my Vestron collections did, so I went ahead and I'm going to do this one. I Like I said, I have a large uh, collection from Scream Factory and Arrow Video. So those are going to be broken up into three parts if I ever do those. So let's go ahead and go with the first one I have in the pile, which is with Madonna, Rosanna Quit, Quit, Rosanna Quit. Can't say her name, sorry, today I'm tired. Aiden Quinn, and I remember liking this movie when I was a kid. I am a very big Madonna fan, love her music. Uh, more her music back then than now. All right, then. The Quest, which was also known as Frog Dreamin', and this has Har Harry Thomas in it from E.T. Love this movie, it's a very good movie. And I'm glad that they were able to have it because I almost bought it from another company. I have it on digital under the original name. And then here's Backtrack, which is also known as Catch Fire. Now, when they released this the theatrical cut on Backtrack, Dennis Hopper removed his name and is known as Alan Smithy, of course. And Catch Fire actually has his original name and they have both cuts of the film. And it has Vincent Price in it, besides Jodie Foster. And of course, Dennis Hopper's in the movie, too. It has Dean Stockwell and John DeToro and Fred Ward. I didn't even know Fred Ward was in this. I haven't seen this movie in a long time, but I remember liking it. Then, of course, we have Color of Night, Bruce Willis, and Jane Marsh, Kevin J. O'Connor, Scott Bakula, Lance Henderson, Leslie Ann Warren, Reuben Blades, uh, yeah, just to name a few. This has the theatrical and the director's cut to the movie. It's a pretty decent movie. Uh, it's not one of his best, but it's not that. It's it's not as bad as some of them that he's done. Uh, but not all his movies are good. Uh, Invasion of the Body Snatchers, the 1978 movie, and this is very good. This has a stellar cast in it. It has uh, Donald Sutherland. It has Brooke Adams, Leonard Nimoy, it has uh, Jeff Goldblum in it, and I almost, I had originally got this, or tried to get it from Scream Factory when they're doing their out of print sale, but there was a glitch in the website and they actually were out of it, so they refunded me, but by the time they sent me the email, I was, it was already out of stock, so I'm grateful to get this one. Now, I am aware that they got this movie in 4K. I didn't think I was going to get 4K at the time, so I'm going to go back and get it in 4K and then give it to um, a friend. Um, Barbara, this is a foreign film. I wanted to see it. it looked interesting. Can it focus? There we go. Then here's uh, F.W. Rose. Nosferatu. This is a true classic silent film that was ordered to be destroyed, the negatives, because it basically infringed on the Dracula story. And you know what? It took, you can, when you watch it, see the similarities between Bram Stoker's Dracula. But you know what? I felt it was an, it did a good job. And it was very eerie. For being a silent film, this was pretty creepy. I never, uh, haven't seen that many silent films, but this is one of them that I've been wanting to see for a long time, and it has both the German titles as well, um, subtitles as well as the English. Then we have Puppet Master, which has Donald Sutherland. Let's see if there's anybody else in here. I, oh my God, I can't even say that guy's name. But it also has, um, where's his name? It's not even listed in here. David Keith from They Live. Will Patton is in it too. So this is a good movie. I liked it. It's not, it's, uh, I don't know how accurate it is to the book, but from what I understand they do a pretty good job and there's the original poster and I think, I don't know if that's the original one, but then there of course there's the, I liked this movie when I saw it. Uh, then my favorite, which I wish did good to do more, Runker Hauer in Blind Fury. This also had uh, Terrence O'Quinn 
And uh, Randall Tex Cobb, he does a good job as a bad guy, by the way. He also plays a good guy in films, too. And the, and the cover is the same. It's no different. If they have a different cover, I normally would change it. And then the underrated Hudson Hawk, which has a stellar cast of actors in this movie. It has Richard E. Grant. It has Donald Burton. James Colburn, just to name a few. And of course it has, let me see if it shows her name, Andy McDowell and Danny Al Al Allo. I can't say his name. See, I like this poster, and of course this is the poster of course they have on there, I forgot. There you go. It is a very cheesy movie from Bruce of uh, Bruce Willis, but I really have a soft spot for that movie. It's so, so badly fun. And the cast makes it fun. Then we have, of course, Deep Rising, which has Treat Williams, Phil McCain Jensen. It also has uh, Kevin J. O'Connor. It is a very uh, good movie, underrated film, I think. Then we have a movie that I saw on TV. Uh, Vengeance Force with Michael Didikoff and I don't know if there's any actors in here that I recognize William Wallace I'm going to, and Steve James is in this too it's a very good movie and of course we have Clint Eastwood in The Good, The Bad and The Ugly I'm a very big Clint Eastwood fan uh, it has Lee Van Cleef and Eli Wall. What? Oh, I can't even say the guy's name. I'm sorry, I'm going to butcher it. Uh, and then here's, of course, Tommy Lee Jones, Linda Hamilton in Black Moon Rising. It's a, it's a decent movie. Not too bad. I liked it. It's a fun movie. Uh, it wasn't well received when it came out, but that's okay. Uh, it has Robert Vaughn. Yeah, good movie. And it went out of focus, but that's okay. Then we have Parasite. They have this movie in 3D, but you have to have a 3D Blu-ray player as well as the TV. And it has Debbie Moore in an early role of hers. Is this a really good movie? It's cheesy. That's all I have to say. But it's a fun movie. Then we have Certain Fury with Tatum O'Neill and Irene Cara. It's a decent movie. I kind of liked it. I never saw it before, and when they had the sale, I picked it up. Uh, has Peter Fonda in it, too. Then we have the cheesy movie, The Pit. And I don't know anybody in this movie. Anybody in this movie. All I know is it's a cheesy movie that has a good premise. And has a book called the, uh, Teddy. And I have to try to get that one. It's a hard movie to find. Then we have Transformations. This is a cheesy film. Um, yeah, I'm glad to own it though. Because I remember it's cheesy. Okay, now we get into a Roger Moore movie, Gold. And this is a very good movie based off a book. If it wants to go on focus. It has Roger Moore in it. Uh, let's see if there's anybody else in it that I recognize. Um, Susanna York is in it. And that's all I know is Roger Moore, pretty much. Well, there is an actor in it, but I don't remember what movie he was in. Okay, now we have Metropolis. And this is the complete cut, as complete as they're ever going to get. It has the um, normal subtitles, English subtitles, as well as, I think this is a, I don't know if this is a German film or not. But this is a well movie that is well talked about very well and if you watch this movie you'll see that other movies sci-fi movies use that as an inspiration this is the uh, aspects now this was put out by Kino Lauer this is an interesting film interesting film and I hope to do a review on it Then we have my favorite movie, Remo Williams, The Adventure Begins. This had Fred Ward in it, 
has, uh, let's see who else was in it, Kate McGrew from Star Trek Voyager, she played the captain, Janeway, very good movie, very under, uh, William Brimley is in this too, I really like this movie, it's a shame it didn't catch on, uh, or we would have had a series of movies from this, now they did have a TV show, and I think they had a, a sequel, which didn't really have really a connection, then we have a cheesy movie that has William Cat, Sheen Young, Patrick McGoon, and that is Baby the Legend, Secret of the Lost Legend. And this is a classic movie. I really like it. Uh, it's a very good movie. Underrated. And then we have, uh, I don't know anybody from this movie. It's Doom Watch. I, I had this on DVD and checked it out and liked it. And when Kino Lover released it, I said, oh, I better get this. It's a fun movie. I think this is actually the longer cut, too. Then we have Spaceballs, the movie. They have this in 4K, I know, and I'm working on getting it. This is one of my favorite movies by Mel Brooks. And it has John John Candy. George, what, uh, Joan Rivers does the, uh, does the voice. Rick Moranis, Moranis, Bill Pullman. And it's a very underrated, very fun, cheesy movie that makes fun of S Star Wars. Then we have the Space Invaders, which has Douglas Barr, Royal Dano, Ar Ariana Richards. If you don't know who she is, she was in Jurassic Park. She's one of the kids. And I don't see if there's anybody else in there that's recognizable. No. But it has a, it's a fun movie about aliens who get the signal from of the world, world, uh, War of the Worlds broadcast and think it's real. And they go to invade Earth only to find out it wasn't real. Then we have an underrated movie which has Kate Capshaw, Leah Thompson, Kelly Preston, Leaf Phoenix, which is River Phoenix. Because if you didn't know when he was younger, he went, up, he went by Leaf Phoenix. This also has in it... Let's see, where's his name? I don't see Tom Skerritt's in it, too. It is a very well-done movie. A very good movie, and I really like it. I recommend checking this out. And they did a good job doing a restoration on this. There I go. I went and focused. Because uh, when I used to see it, you could see the mats from when they did the special effects with the shuttle. Then we have the altogether cheesy... Tentacles. Is this a very good movie? I don't know. I will re review it. Is this a Jaws ripoff? You better believe it. <laughs> and it has Shelley Winters, Bob Haskins, Harry Fonda, Henry Fonda, sorry. And is it as cheesy as it looks? Yes, it is very cheesy. And I don't know if I like it. I gotta watch it again. Uh, then we have Christopher Reeve, Ro Rosanna Oquette-Cat, and Jack Warren in a movie that I never saw that is a pretty decent film. It's called The Aviator. And it's very good. I liked it. I liked it. Me and my wife loved it. And of course, Mon The Monster Squad in 4K. I am going to do a review on this movie. So just know that it's coming. One thing I like is it has the documentary on it on uh, called... Wolfman Got Nards. They released that in 2018. I have it on digital, but never got a chance to watch it. Now that I have the physical copy, I'm going to check it out. And then they have the TV series they put out, which is an underrated show, which is Haunted, which had by with Matthew Fox in it. It's a great show that w I wish uh, did better. And of course, they have all the episodes, and then they also released the unaired episodes. It's an interesting story. And there's only, I think, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 episodes, sadly. And it was 2002. There's a show that I wish did better. I would have loved to have seen where they went with it. Then we have High Desert Kill, which I did a review, which has Mark Singer. And uh, it did as well as I thought it was going to do because no one's heard of this film. <laughs> and there's nothing on it. Then we have my two favorite movies, FX and FX2. Now they did have this separately 
but they didn't have, if I don't, I'm not mistaken, any be, uh, special features for the second one, just the first one. And it's a very, these are very good films. I highly recommend them. It has Brian, Brian Brown and Brian Dennehy in it. It has, um, where is it? They all have a, another Clifty Young's in it. He's he's a good actor. And uh, man, they don't even have the guy listed in here. He's in the movie. Uh, yeah, but it's a good movie. They're both good. And I wish the second one. I saw the second one in the theater. Of course, I couldn't see the first one. I was too young. And Raw Headed Rex. Now they did re-release this in 4K, if I'm not mistaken. I wish I knew that they were gonna do that. I wouldn't have bought this. Is this I like the slip cover too. Here's the original cover. I would list the names of the actors, but I have never heard of them before. Ooh, hope that pile doesn't fall. Then of course the boogies. I did a review on that already. And without warning, this is a movie that inspired Predator. One of the movies. It has Jack Callis in it, Martin Lando, and has the late. Where is he? Because he played the Anthony Peter Hall, I believe, was the actor who played the alien in this, and also. He played the Predator. Sadly, he passed away, but that is a good movie. Then we have The Naked Face with Roger Moore. And let's see who else is in this. It has a great cast. Ann Archer's in it. Elliot Gould. Rob Steiger. A very good movie. I love the soundtrack to this, too. Uh, it, is got, it is definitely a violent film, but it's a good film, I think. And we have Deep Star Six. Now, this is a one I wish they had a 4K for that for this one, but that's okay. Well, with that, it's going over 17 minutes. So, with that, I will say I am out of here. You have a good one. And uh, I'll try to have some movie reviews. But it's just been slow. I didn't get Leviathan like I wanted, so I was going to watch it and do a review on it. With that, I'm out of here. You have a good one. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want and if you like my content, please subscribe. Thank you.